Dear student, in this video, we will learn new chapter quadrilateral practice set 5.4. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it to that self. Let's learn. Question number one in quadrilateral IJKL side IJ parallel side KL angle I equals 208 degree angle K equals to 53 degree then find the measure of angle J and angle L. Let's see the solution of this question. Look at this figure. In this figure side IJ and side LK are parallel to each other and IL is a transversal. So here we will, we will write here side IJ parallel side KL and side IL is the transversal. Look at this figure here angle I and angle L are interior angles formed by parallel line IJ and LK with transversal IL and we know that interior angles formed by parallel lines are supplementary therefore measure angle I plus measure angle L equals to 180 degree now you can see in this figure measure angle I is given 108 degree so we are going to replace angle I with its measure that is 108 degree so we will get 108 plus measure angle L equals to 180 degree now we will shift 108 degree to that side of equal to okay when we will shift 108 degree to that side of equal to what will happen the sign of this number will change it is positive when it go that side it will become negative so it would be measure angle l equals to 180 degree minus 108 degree therefore measure angle l equals to 72 degree now look at this figure here angle k is 53 degree and you can see in this figure side ij and side lk are parallel to each other and jk is a transversal so we will consider ij parallel to kl and jk is a transversal and you can see in this figure angle j and angle k are interior angles formed by those two parallel lines and we know that interior angles are supplementary when two lines are parallel therefore measure angle j plus measure angle k equals to 180 degree and you can see that measure of angle k is given 53 degree so here we are going to replace measure angle k by 53 degree so we will get measure angle j plus 53 degree equals to 180 degree now we will shift 53 degree to that side of equal to so what will happen the sign of this number will change so we will get measure angle j equals to 180 minus 53 degree therefore measure angle j equals to 127 degree so we got here the measure of angle l that is 72 degree and measure of angle j equals to 127 degree in quadrilateral a b c d side b c parallel side a d side a b congruent side d c and if angle a equals to 72 degree then find the measure of angle b and angle d Let's see here we are going to do construction look at this figure we are going to draw perpendicular from vertex B to side AD. So you can see that I have made a perpendicular segment from vertex B to side AD we'll name this segment as BP. Similarly we will make perpendicular from vertex C to side AD. So look at this figure here I'm going to draw perpendicular from vertex C to side AD. Okay you can see that I have made a perpendicular from C to side AD will name this perpendicular segment as CQ. So we will write the construction over here draw seg BP perpendicular to side AD and seg CQ perpendicular to side AD. Now let's see the solution of this question. So look at this figure 
in this figure side BC and side AD are parallel to each other okay you can see here side BC and side AD are parallel to each other and BA is a transversal of those two parallel lines so here angle A that is BAD and angle B that is ABC are interior angles and interior angles formed by parallel lines are supplementary it means measure angle A plus measure angle B equals to 180 degree so let's see the steps over here measure angle A is 72 degree it's a given side BC and AD are parallel and AB is a transversal so the angle A plus angle B equals to 180 degree according to interior angles theorem now you can see that measure of angle A is given as 72 degree right you can see in the given part angle A is given 72 degree so we are going to replace angle A by 72 degree so we will get 72 degree plus measure angle B equals to 180 degree now we will shift 72 degree to right hand side of equal to so we will get measure angle B equals to 180 degree minus 72 degree therefore measure angle B equals to 108 degree so you can see that here it is asked to find angle B and angle D so you can see that I have got the measure of angle B that is 108 degree now we are going to find out angle D so let's see the next steps what to do to get the angle D look at this figure here triangle BPA and triangle CQD okay we are going to take triangle BPA and triangle CQD and we are going to prove these two triangles congruent so let's see this figure here angle BPA and angle CQD can you see in this figure angle BPA and angle CQD are 90 degree therefore angle BPA congruent to angle CQD as their measure is same that is 90 degree look at this figure here hypotenuse BA and hypotenuse CD can you see in this figure hypotenuse BA and hypotenuse CD will be congruent to each other why it's a given look at this figure here seg BP and seg CQ are perpendicular distances between same two parallel lines and we know that perpendicular segment between same two parallel lines are equal in length therefore seg BP congruent to seg CQ so look at this figure here these two triangles right triangle BPA and triangle CQD will be congruent to each other according to hypotenuse side test and we know that if two triangles are congruent then their remaining parts will also congruent to each other remaining parts means remaining sides and remaining angles of those two triangles will also congruent to each other so look at this figure here angle a and angle d okay you can see in this figure angle a and angle d will be congruent to each other right that is angle b a p congruent to angle c d q because c a c t that is corresponding angle of congruent triangle and angle b a p we can write as angle a all right okay b a p this angle you can see in this figure angle b a p we can write as angle a and angle c d q we can write as angle d so we will write the short name though of those two angles that is a equals to d and angle a is 72 degree it's a given so therefore angle d will also 72 degree as they are equal a and d so measure of d will be also 72 degree In quadrital ABCD, side BC smaller than side AD, side BC parallel side AD, and if side BA congruent side CD, then prove that angle ABC equals to angle DCB. Let's see the solution of this question. Okay, so first of all, you have to make a figure. Okay, as per given information, you can see that here I have taken bc and ad parallel right you can see that as per information bc and ad should be parallel and bc should be smaller than ad okay so you have to make a figure as per given information and you can see here ba congruent to cd it's also given and we have to prove these two angles 
congruent let's see the proof of this so here first we will go for construction okay first we'll write the given part bc smaller than ad side bc parallel side ad side ba equal side cd okay these informations are given what we have to prove angle abc congruent to angle dcb now let's see here we'll do the construction can you see in this figure here we have to make perpendicular from vertex B to side AD. We'll name this perpendicular segment as BP. Similarly, we will draw perpendicular from vertex C to side AD. So look at this figure. You can see that I have made a perpendicular segment from C to side AD. We'll name this perpendicular segment as CQ. So we'll, we will write the construction over here. The construction is draw seg BP perpendicular side AD and seg CQ perpendicular side AD. Now let's see the proof of this question. Proof. Okay, so here we are going to prove triangle BAP and triangle CQD congruent. So look at this figure. Triangle BAP and triangle CQD. Can you see in this figure the triangles which are in yellow colored we are going to prove those two triangle congruent so let's see in this figure angle bpa and angle cqd can you see that in this figure angle bpa and angle cqd are right angles so these two angles will be congruent angle bpa congruent to angle cqd as their measure is same that is 90 degree look at this figure here you can see side ba and side cd that is hypotenuse BA and hypotenuse CD will be congruent to each other. Okay, the reason is given. And look at this figure here side BP and side CQ will also congruent to each other. Okay, you can see in this figure side BP and side CQ will also congruent to each other. Why? Because there are perpendicular distances between same two parallel lines. So seg bp congruent to seg cq so look at this figure these two triangles will be congruent right that is triangle bpa and triangle cqd according to hypotenuse side test and if these two triangles are congruent then definitely their remaining part will also congruent to each other remaining part means remaining sides and remaining angles of these two triangles will also congruent to each other so look at this figure angle A and angle D. Can you see in this figure angle A and angle D will congruent to each other. Angle A means angle BAP congruent to angle CDQ. Right? Why? CA, CT. Corresponding angle of congruent triangle. So the therefore angle A equals to angle D. That is short name of those two angles. Angle A equals to angle D. We will consider as equation number 1. Now look at this figure, in this figure here side BC and side AD are parallel to each other, right? And BA is a transversal. So side BC parallel side AD and side AB is a transversal. So look at this figure here angle A plus angle B equals to 180 degree. You can see in this figure angle A and angle B, right? Can you see in this figure angle A and angle B? are interior angles formed by those two parallel lines and interior angles formed by parallel lines will be supplementary supplementary means sum of these two angles will be 180 degree okay so therefore angle a plus angle b equals to 180 degree now similarly you can see that side bc parallel to side ad and side cd is a transversal you can see in this figure side bc and side ad is are parallel and now transversal is CD, right? What is transversal over here? Transversal is CD. So BC parallel to AD and CD is a transversal. So look at in this figure angle C and angle D. Can you see in this figure angle C and angle D? They are interior angles and they will be supplementary. Therefore angle C plus angle D equals to 180 degree. Now we'll compare equation 2 and 3. Can you see in this figure angle 2 and angle 3? sorry equation 2 and equation 3 the right hand side is equal 180 degree 180 degree 
ओके सो एंगल ए प्लस बी इक्वल्स टू एंगल सी प्लस एंगल डी फ्रॉम टू एंड थ्री ओके नाउ वी प्रूव इट एंगल ए कॉन्ग्रेन टू एंगल डी इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन राइट वी प्रूव इट बिफोर एंगल ए कॉन्ग्रेन टू एंगल डी सो यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव रिप्लेस्ड एंगल डी ओके यू कैन सी एट द प्लेस ऑफ एंगल डी आई रोट एंगल ए वाई डी कैन बी रिप्लेस बाय ए वी प्रूव इट इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन Okay, so now look at over here. Your angle A will be eliminated from both the side, right? You can eliminate angle A from both the side. So what will be left if we we'll remove angle A from both the sides? So you will get measure angle B equals to measure angle C. So we proved it over here. Angle ABC congruent to angle DCB.